So one question I get asked a lot is how to change a bladder and repair a leading edge bladder as well as the uh, strut bladders on your duotone kites. So I thought I'd use a little bit of time at home to show you guys how you go about repairing or changing a bladder on one of your duotone kites. Let's do it. Right, so the first step is to diagnose which bladder actually has a leak. Because all duotone kites have one pump system, you need to ascertain whether it's one of the struts or whether it is the leading edge that has the puncture. Firstly, it's how to take your bladder out. This is the same whether it's the leading edge or whether it's one of your strut bladders, just with a few minor differences. So the second step is to access the bladder itself. This is done on every strut or leading edge. Once you've done this and you've got access to the bladder, you want to loop one of your lines from your bar around the end of that bladder so that when you pull it through your kite, there will be a line attached to it that will make it easy for you to reinsert the bladder at the end of this job. You then want to move on to detaching your one pump system tubes along the leading edge of your kite so that the bladder and the valves are free to be removed. You do this by popping open the plastic clips that hold your one pump tubes in place to the valve. You then go to your access zip on the inside of your leading edge and undo it giving you access to pull your bladder out of your kite. Make sure that you pop all of the valves back in through their own holes inside the kite itself, allowing you to pull the bladder completely through the leading edge of the kite and not getting caught on anything inside. And then you go ahead and pull your leading edge bladder back through and out of the access zip that is in the center of your leading edge. As you can see, the string will come through with the tip of your bladder allowing an easy job when you come to refit the bladder itself. You repeat this procedure on both sides of the kite, clearing all of the valves and making sure the bladder comes out smoothly with strings attached on each tip. So once you've done that, a good tip is to totally remove your one pump extension tubes and then reattach them again once the bladder is outside of your kite so that it shuts the valves themselves off allowing you to inflate the bladder in order to find the hole or damage that you need to repair. The best way to do this I find if you don't have a swimming pool is to get a large bucket of water big enough for you to bend the bladder into so that you can hold it underwater and check for any bubbles coming out. This will make it easy for you to spot any damage or punctures in the bladder itself. Once you've found the hole and damaged areas, you want to get your puncture repair kit that comes in the front of every duotone kiteboarding bag. Use the sandpaper provided in the puncture repair kit to rough up the rubber on the leading edge before you put the sticker on and then attach the patch themselves and allow it some time to stick over the repair. It's always good practice to assume that there's more than one hole so make sure you go back and test the repair once you've done it to make sure that there are no extra leaks. Now we're back to reinserting the bladder into the kite. You want to make sure that the bladder is as dry as you can get it and a good tip is to use talcum powder to put it back into your kite but it will make the bladder a lot easier to slide into the kite and reduce the risk of getting a bladder twist. Lay the kite out on the floor flat and lay the bladder on top of it and then you want to fold the bladder up on top of itself so that when you pull it back through it's not going to be creating any twists in the material. Once you're happy with the layout of your bladder and everything's good to go to pull it back through, reattach the strings and then simply pull the bladder back through the kite, making sure that the valves don't get stuck anywhere on the inside of the kite. Jiggle them around, find the valves inside the kite, reinsert them back through the holes in the leading edge of the kite itself and then pull them through the kite so that they are set in place. Reattach your one pump tubes Clip the plastic clips back in place that hold the one pump tube to the kite or to the strut. Make sure the plastic clips are in place and then you're ready to reinflate your kite to make sure that the bladder is not twisted and that it's reinserted correctly. Make sure you don't pump it too hard because if you've got a twist it will put an unnecessary force on the bladder and could cause another puncture. 
This is an example of a classic twist and what a twist looks like if you have reinserted your bladder wrong. If you see this, do not attempt to inflate your kite hard and you will have to go all the way back and take that end of the bladder out again and go through the reinserting process a second time. Once you're satisfied that the bladder is inserted correctly, then you can go ahead and reclose the tips of the kite, wrapping the bladder up in the material and poking the Velcro strip back up inside the tip of the leading edge bladder. Then inflate the kite hard again and let it sit outside for a few hours whilst you make sure that it has no more punctures. There you go. Right, off to the beach then. Session time. <laughs>